I'm Corinne. I'm Thomas. <laughs> Good morning. Welcome to the chill spot. And as you can see, um, I believe Drake is taking a nap, but that's okay. Because today is National Napping Day. Oh, this is my favorite day, actually. <laughs> my favorite day of the year. Do I look great? You do. You so, look fabulous. National Napping Day. You know, I didn't know this was a thing. Yeah. What I will tell you is ever since Matt came on here working with us, I have asked him, can we extend the work day till 6 o'clock to get a nap in an hour? Or can we come in early to get a nap in? So I really, really think when he sees this one, he'll be a little bit more swayed to mm -hmm. to do it. To do it because naps are great, obviously. <laughs> so let's talk about National it Napping Day. It is. Um, it Hopefully, was... wait. Everybody remembered to turn their spring their clocks ahead. Yeah, right? yeah. Because this has a lot to do with that. That's what just reminded mm -hmm. me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, that was on. Yep. So um, it started in 1999 by William Anthony, Ph.D., and his wife, Kamel. William Anthony has a Ph.D., I think. Yeah. Is that right? Yeah. <laughs> You're like, yeah, sure. <laughs> you know how I am. They should, so, be, they yeah, should be used to me by they now. They <laughs> started it because they felt like Americans were ready for nap after the time change. Daylight savings time yes. ended yet? I know, I'm always confused. Daylight savings time ended yesterday. All I know is spring forward. So either yes. way, with the time change, they felt that Americans were ready for a nap. Exactly. And then they talk about, we're going to talk about a little bit about the benefits of napping. I just want to say before we get there, 20 to 30 minutes does not suffice. No, but if that's but what they say, we'll talk about it. Maybe they were talking about CNAs because we only get maybe they were 15, talking about cats. 15 to 20 minutes. <laughs> Maybe they were talking about cats. <laughs> Could be. That's possible. So they say the benefits of napping, uh, a 20 to 30 minute nap can improve your short-term alertness. I really think I learned, I'm not, I'm really not just saying this because I like naps, but I think I learned that the proper nap time is 90 minutes. I would go for 90 minutes. Boo, me too. Give me like nine hours. Yeah. And then taking a nap um, three times a week can actually decrease heart-related deaths by 37%. So it all ties in. So mm -hmm. heart-related issues, heart-related deaths. I know in some countries they implement naps and they probably do that. So they have a lower insurance rate because people aren't having heart problems. <laughs> hint, hint, it lowers your blood pressure mm -hmm. also by napping. So... To all of our business owners, our big wigs in America, naps, naps. If you want to lower your employee sickness, improve their mm -hmm. health, let them take little naps. Siestas. Yeah. yeah. And think about their stress level. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. I, man, oh, I love napping. That's all I can think about. <laughs> <laughs> and then 60 million American are actually sleep deprived sometime in their in their life. I could see that. I mean, I went through times where, you know, I used, I used to say like, oh, four hours a night is the most ideal amount of sleep ever. <laughs> and I'm so happy when I sleep four hours. Now I'm like, four hours a night? Yeah, get, try to get me mm -hmm. up in the morning. It's not going to happen. Yeah. No amount of coffee is working That's for four true. hours. That's so true. That's true. I guess I'm getting a little bit older and I need to sleep more. But I would recommend getting a proper amount of sleep for sure. Every time, every chance you can get, take a nap. Right. <laughs> and the reason why we wanted to discuss this on the chill spot is if you're feeling tired, think about the residents that are mm -hmm. sleeping in their wheelchair. You go into a center and they're like this. And the drool Horrible is... Horrible posture. Yes. Yes. So, you know, in, in our facility, we had a legend. And a legend was a um, regular size notebook paper, and it would say whether a resident was down times one or down times two. So you need to be following your legend. Down or times one. Care, so do you mean plan. like they laid down one time in the day and then they laid down two times in the day? No. A down times one means they have to lay down either after breakfast or after lunch. Okay. Down times two would be... Both. After breakfast and after lunch. 
So I don't recall ever having anything that specific in the building. Mm -hmm. We just kind of like judgment call, you know. A good way to think of it is, for one, the every two hour thing. Your resident mm -hmm. doesn't have to be toileted every two hours. They have to be checked. Right. And the pressure needs to be alleviated, so they need to be repositioned. If you're having to do that with the resident every two hours, your best bet is to lay them down mm -hmm. for at least 30 minutes. You know, lay them down, let the, let the pressure alleviate off their bottom, their lower back, their upper legs. If you're having, if someone is dependent and they can't tell you they need to lay down, your best bet's probably going to be to lay them down. They're going to eat better, they're going to have better posture, and when they nap in the daytime and then they can be more engaged at dinner, they're going to sleep better at night. So yeah. it's all around helps the CNA. Yeah, it is, especially um, when you have certain residents that are prone to skin Oh yeah, skin they issues. Better you know, it, be laying it down. helps, but just be aware that if you're tired, think about the residents mm -hmm. when they're getting up early for their meals and stuff. Or their so showers just, at six yeah. in the morning. Yeah, so just you know, be aware of it, um, you know, and watch closely too. That if a certain resident is sleeping more often, it could be because they were asleep in their chair. Mm -hmm. You know, and you didn't lay him down for one reason or another. But that was one of the main reasons why we wanted to talk about this is just be aware, always be aware of um, your residents. And take a nap. Mm -hmm. And take a nap. <laughs> so, Matt, if you're watching, um, your NACA staff needs a nap. <laughs> At five o'clock, naps yep. are allowed. <laughs> and I also noticed that we still have our shirts. Subscribe to CNA TV. Yes. And this something. I want to get a, just a little. Button that says it like the easy the button. button. <laughs> that was he, easy. I think he needs because it, it really is easy. It's yeah. so easy to subscribe mm -hmm. to CNA TV, and I'm going to continue to watch. And I love watching the numbers mm -hmm. go up and up. And you never know, it, there may be a giveaway. And if you're gonna, you're missing out. If you're missing the notifications for these shows, you're missing out. I'm gonna say especially ours. I love all of them, but we give stuff away. So if you Sorry. are missing the notification on CNA TV, you are missing out. Definitely. Period. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> exactly. I, I totally agree. And then make sure that you like, comment, and share. And like Drake said, you never know when we're going to be giving away anything. Anything. I mean, you never know what we're gonna what we're gonna do after we wake up from a nap. I was gonna say we better let them go before they start napping on That's us. True. That's true. So, thanks for watching again. Happy National Nap Day, and until next time, remember that you matter.